friends, wizards, witches, and muggles, welcome back to my channel. So today I am joined by the one and only Tom Felton, who plays the infamous Draco Malfoy in the Harry Potter films. So firstly, how are you? Oh, hi, hi, hello, yes. Are you well? Very well, very well, good <laughs> is, to see you again. Is this your first time in the greenhouse? Literally the first time sitting or standing here for 20, 20 odd years, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a blast from the past for me. It's my first time seeing it and welcome. it's- Welcome. Absolutely amazing. It's pretty cool, isn't I'm it? I'm blown away, yeah, I'm not going to lie. So we are here at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. Now you may have noticed that we're not sat in the Slytherin common room, <laughs> unfortunately for you. <laughs> but we are here in the latest edition here at the tour, which is the Professor Sprout's greenhouse. And I just can't stop looking at it. There's mandrakes everywhere. <laughs> You've had a little play with the mandrakes already. I have. You've pulled some out, but you didn't wear any earmuffs. No, I was, I was luckily, uh, I've been scarred from my previous visit 20 years. <laughs> uh, you, di you didn't come with your ear protection. So I've got a few questions for you today. Okie dokie. The first one is, what was it like, if you remember, walking into the greenhouse all those years ago when you got to meet Professor Sprout and mm. being around all the costumes, seeing all the magical plants? I think it was um, it was difficult to contain us that day. All the kids that were there. Cause yeah, because we you're so quite young. <laughs> we were quite young. Also, it was it was we were out of the regular sort of um, not reg not as if we were used to the Great Hall by then, but mm. it was something new, something different. It was the first time for me working with actual animatronic right yeah. parts that um, I mean people forget how little in the early films green screen was used in visual effects this is all sort of actual like physical crying stuff. robot mandrakes yes and then <laughs> let alone getting your finger bitten by one so there's a few, <laughs> few scarred memories there but it was a lot of fun and I and um, obviously Miriam um, played Professor Sprout was was a lot of fun too I think it was uh, more fun than work that day. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> awesome. So I want to know, and I've thought about this a few times, mm. and I can't quite get to the answer, and it's, do you think that Draco would be good at herbology? Do you think he's got like a secret vegetable patch at Malfoy Manor of growing sunflowers, or do you think it would be terrible? <laughs> I mean, I do quite like the idea that he's a secret green thumb, and no one knew it. Uh, <laughs> But something tells me no. Something no. tells me he doesn't quite have the nurturing side of him that maybe is needed for... I mean, Tom's not much of a... I was going to say, what about yourself? Do you have much of a green I thumb? do. I enjoy mowing the lawn. Okay. But as far as rearing mandrakes, etc., I'm not sure I'm the right man for the job. So, I'm so sure. no house plants? I don't, <laughs> no, none that are particularly in good shape at the moment. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep you away from the mandrakes good then call. today. <laughs> so obviously, Leavestone was your home for 10 years mm. during the Harry Potter films. Now that you're back, um, what's your favourite thing here at the studio tour that you've seen? There's a lot here to choose from. It's very, yeah, it's very hard to pick one. It's, it's so cool that they haven't moved it as far as like all the original stuff that you see, get to see here. Not only is it the original stuff, but also it was here when we shot it. It wasn't like 100 miles away or across the yeah. seas in California or whatever. It was, it was, it's all the real, I think part of it is like you're actually walking through the steps that we all walk through. Um, it makes it very hard not to sort of get quite nostalgic when I get to come yeah, back here. Uh, <laughs> but picking a favorite bit, like good luck, because I've been, <laughs> I've been here a dozen times at least since the, since the tour's been open and I'm still discovering new bits and pieces that I fall in love with every time. Yeah. I, I'm not sure I could choose. No. I'm guessing you've seen the Slytherin Common Room, which is a fairly new edition. Yes, I mean, the, honestly, every edition. The nice thing for me, uh, uh, one of the big things, is that from the camera's point of view, you don't always get to see how the attention to detail underneath all the stuff that yeah. that the camera doesn't pick up. The people, the, the amazing team that worked behind it, um, all collaborated to make sure that every square inch was 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 real. Which... Absolutely, and I've noticed that like there's so many props and different things in the sets that unless they're pointed out to you, yeah. you wouldn't necessarily. Yeah, I was in the potions classroom just saying hello to, to old friends and seeing like some of the test tube yeah. vials that have Slughorn's name written in it in the tiniest little And like italics. the memory vials in Dumbledore's office, yes. they're all handwritten, they're it's absolutely a, beautiful. a real tribute to the, to the hundreds if not thousands of people that put their blood, sweat and tears into, into the films. So obviously the Warner Brothers Studio Tour has changed and it's expanded over yeah. the years. This is the brand new expansion. <laughs> is there anything here or a set that isn't here yet but you'd maybe like to see here in the future that you maybe remember filming on? Oh, honestly, it's so overwhelming what they've already managed to protect and keep mm. in such good shape. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice reminder of why we weren't allowed to steal our wands and our broomsticks <laughs> because they're kept here for such in such amazing um 
amazing condition. Uh, yeah, again, I'm just amazed that they have kept every single piece, you know, from ties to costumes to wigs. Uh, I was just speaking to Lisa, Lisa Tomlin, who did the, the, the hair for the last mm. um, for the last six movies, and she uh, was just talking about how many Draco wigs that yeah, are still living in boxes somewhere <laughs> for stunt doubles, etc. So <laughs> it's just pretty amazing to know that the ar- the archive is is packed full of Potter goodies. I'm oh, sure. I'd love, I'd love to get in there. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see all the all the secrets that they hold. Oh, well, the this archive. is as close as you can get at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure in time. So let's take a quick moment to talk about your character, Draco Malfoy. Mm. Do you think that there are any traits that you perhaps think that you share with him? Other than eye colour, I can't think of any, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I'm very lucky not to have, not to be an only, well, I have three older brothers, so okay. I'm not, not, not an only child. Um, runt of the pack, as they call mm. me, my brothers. Uh, and my mum and dad are lovely and um, not bullying and incredibly oh, encouraging. Oh, well, that's good. That's yeah. Good. <laughs> that's, why, that's why it's fun to get to play Draco, because he could not be Such more, a contrast. Such an opposite of who yeah. I am as a person, which made it a lot more fun, I think, for me to to portray him. <laughs> Draco is obviously one of the best known Slytherins, one of the most famous ones, but I want to know what your Hogwarts house is. I don't know what your Hogwarts house is. I, if I was to guess, go on, fire. I feel as though you've got a little bit of Gryffindor, mm-hmm. maybe a tiny bit of Hufflepuff. Okay, choose your words. Shall Kate. I leave? Yes, yeah, so sorry, <laughs> can we terminate this? <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. Um, I, I have been sorted into Gryffindor. Um, Welcome, that's my house as well. Well, but I, I, I protested immediately. Uh, I actually did do the tests. Well, you know what? I got, I got sorted into Gryffindor when I tried to trick the, the hat in by giving Slytherin answers. And that's a very Slytherin thing to do, I'm just well, saying. Well, yeah, it's, my, it's early days. It was early days. <laughs> but then since then, I have taken it more legitimately with my, actually, with my three older brothers and my family. Okay. And three of them got Hufflepuff, which was very disappointing for me. But... <laughs> But I did get Slytherin, so I was over the moon. Okay. So, uh, well, I, I feel as though you have to go with like your first sorting. So I'm gonna. Well, because I but I tried to lie to the system, so let's just let's just settle with Slytherdor somewhere in the middle. Okay, okay, we'll we'll compromise. Thanks, Jared. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about your fictional father, Lucius Malfoy. Mm. Now, obviously, he was quite an intimidating character, but I guess I'd like to know a little bit about what it was like working with him and. Yeah, was, was he intimidating in person or...? No, much, much like hopefully um, Tom and Draco are two, two separate beasts, he was exactly the same. Terrifyingly so, because he was really nice as Jason. Yeah. And he's such a kind, uh, loving, funny guy. Um, and then the moment they roll cameras and say action, he turns into Just the worst father <laughs> you've ever met in your life. Um, <laughs> Um, and then as soon as they cut, he goes back to being lovely Jason again. But, yeah, and um, I guess like when you're working that closely with people for a long amount of time, I guess the cast and crew kind of become your family as well. Yeah, I mean, when Jason met me, I was 12 years old, so yeah. I've come a long way since then, but he's certainly been there for me at every corner, yeah. and uh, I still call him Dad. So. Oh. oh, that's adorable. <laughs> and we, we speak quite nice a lot. Nice to know that it's not scary. <laughs> no, not at all. So you touched on it a little bit in an answer earlier about not being able to take one's home with you. Mm. Um, is there anything that you wish that you could have kept from set? Or anything that you managed to take from set? Promise I won't tell anyone. One of these little... No. Um, <laughs> no, I'm actually really glad. I think at the time there was a bit of... Uh, it would be nice to have a Nimbus 2000 in the house, etc. But actually, again, especially revisiting here every time I come back, which is I'm so grateful that that we didn't. Uh, yeah. And also people think that we had like 10 brooms or 10 <laughs> wands each, and we didn't. We had one wand. Oh, really? Well, we had two. One real one, and I know it's my one in there because there's a little chip out oh, of the handle where I dropped it. it. Uh, <laughs> and then the other ones were just foam, so it's nice to know that, that, that there aren't hundreds of these things. They actually yeah. are just like the real deal, and yeah. that was it. So and I guess it's nice coming back here and like seeing it all again and yes. knowing that it's safe. <laughs> exactly. Better, better kept safe here than in my... Uh, my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was it being back here for the Harry Potter reunion with your other cast members that you've maybe not seen for a while? Because I know that I watched that in January. Mm. I will admit, I did cry a little bit watching mm. that. It was very <laughs> emotional as a Harry Potter fan. Yeah. Um, but I guess I wanted to know about your experience. Yeah, you're not the first one to say about the tears. Um, I think we all shed a tear. I was just sob. I watched it on my own in my living room. I was just sobbing. Yeah. I was just like, "Oh my god!" It was lovely. It was a. <laughs> um, it was a such. It was a real surprise. It was all done very sort of quite last minutes. We weren't we weren't quite sure who was going to be there and for how long. Um, it was one of those ones where we hadn't seen each other. We certainly hadn't been in the room together for 
decades, uh, if, if not, you know, more like 15 years. So to have us all back together again was very special. And then immediately, very normal. And we just sort of asking each other mundane the sort of questions that we, that we usually um, ask each other. It felt like slipping back into sort of your old school year. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was uh, pretty emotional, I think, for us, but in a, in a really pleasant way that, that reminding ourselves how much fun we had here yeah. and how easy it was as an experience, considering how long they all took to make, how mm. much fun we had, how lucky we were. And uh, yeah, we all had a chance to go for dinner with each other, Gryffindors and Slytherins alike. <laughs> <laughs> we get along a bit better We now, do right? get along quite well now, yeah. You'll be, you'll be pleased to hear we've made, made amends for our oh, years at school. Fantastic. <laughs> so as my final question to go you, on. I have to ask it. Um, please, can you do me the honor of doing your very best Potter impression? Uh, only if you can set back to me. You go first. Okay, fair, okay. fair, fair, fair. It's all in there. Potter. Oh, okay. So it's, it's all in the mouth action. Mm. Okay, my go. Potter. Bloody good. Can we rate that out of ten? That's a. You're up there in the easy early eights. Okay, I'll take. I'll take that. Yes. I'll take that. Okay. okay. I'll save you a seat in the in the Slytherin <laughs> common room. Yeah, you're in. That that's great. You've you've made my day with that, Tom. <laughs> so yeah, I guess thank you so much right, for spending for time with me and answering all of my questions. And a huge thank you to Warner Brothers Studio Tour here in London. Um, this is amazing. I'm going to spend some time looking at all of the new additions here. And if you want to come and see this beautiful greenhouse for yourself, along with some of the new things, seriously, you're not ready for it. It's absolutely beautiful. Do a little treat yourself. Head into the description down below and book yourself a ticket. And yeah, have a magical time. Thanks again, Tom. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks. Enjoy. Thanks. Have fun. Cut there.